Mods on a Saturday, oh you betcha! Hey, uh, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got, well, one new mod for you for all platforms. It is the Ivyco 19038 semi truck by Pepe978, aka Ambassador. Oh, yeah. Yo, let's check it out. Moving over in the store again, we have the Ivyco 19038 semi truck. This can be found, of course, in vehicles and in trucks. This bad boy right here has multiple different colors. So you have pastel red, you have blue marine, red flame, who looks really good, mint green, gray fog, and navy gray. Now, all of these are custom colors and they do not include any of the in-game colors. So these are the colors that you get. We have some decals. We have some like racing stripe kind of things. So we have design decal A, decal B, which is going to go from these white stripes on the side to the Ivyco logo right here. Then we go over. So we have the yellow, blue, and red. We have the red and gray, I guess you would say. And the back to standard. So those are actually the only two that you get. But depending on which color you put these with, it can really, really pop. Depending on, again, which one you go with. So maybe you got that one. Doesn't really look good, but you want to go with that instead. The gray maybe doesn't look good on the gray, but over top of the red, yeah, that looks pretty good. Design. We have a couple spoiler designs through here. So we have without spoiler, we have spoiler A, and we have spoiler B. So a is going to be a little bit more of like a floof <laughs> kind of thing. And then spoiler B is more of a standard and traditional look. So this would maybe be something that you would want to go with through here. Maybe something like that looks really, really good. And then attachers, we have a standard attacher and we have a trailer hitch. So you will be able to move around smaller trailers or even larger trailers if they have the correct hitch on here. Now, one of the great things about the spoiler is you can use it with smaller trailers or you can bump that up and use it with larger trailers and it would look correct and look right with each of those trailers let me show you what i mean here we've got two trailers that are relatively different in size on the right we actually have the tf or uh, tf sim semi trailer this is actually the one that came with pepe 978's previous fiat trucks this holds forty five thousand. this bad boy right here the in-game Crampy Kipper, this holds 48,000. So you can see we have a very similar capacity here, but the trailers themselves much, much larger. Well, the smaller trailer looks perfect on the back of this version right here. Standard, nothing has been changed with this. I literally went in and leased it. This one right here, this is all customized out. You got the racing stripes on there, but more importantly, you've got the spoiler over the top. That connects the top of the truck over the top, makes the water, the air go whoosh right over the top of the trailer, and it doesn't look crazy or weird. Here in the States, sometimes you might see a smaller truck pulling a larger trailer, but you don't know, look like they're going very far with that. This right here, this looks great. This looks really, really nice. I think this truck right here is going to overthrow the MAN or the MAN trucks as being some of the more popular European style trucks, especially since it's a Fiat. Oh, yes. This also has one of the best sounding engines of anything that we have in game. I want to go back in and take a look because we've got a few things that we didn't talk about that I want to review of this truck. You can see we're going to go through and, oop, did we pass it already? We did. There it is. So with this truck, 381 horsepower. So it's not crazy. It's not massive, but it is a good amount. 385 liters of fuel. Again, not massive, not huge, but it is plenty and 52 miles per hour. So it does go a little bit faster than some of those in-game trucks. For example, these go 49 horse or 49 miles per hour. Now, all the ones that we have in game are much, much larger in horsepower, but I don't think you need that in here. Let's start off with this bad boy right here. Let's turn on some volume, and I want you guys to hear this.
So one great thing there is we have an engine sound that is <laughs> second to none. But man, it does sound good, doesn't it? We take a look at the interior, let's turn everything off. Of course, we have lighting, but does it pop up on our, our queue right there? There we go. But now that the truck is on, it does. So we can see our different lights through there. We have a uh, speedo gauge that works or attack. We've got the RPMs, they work. We've got our gears right here. As you can see, pull that back, there we go. So we have gas, that's gonna push forward there. We have a another knob down there, right in front of the red one, but I don't know what that does. Pulls it back. Maybe that's throttle? Possibly, could be. Uh, and of course, backing speed, nine miles per hour, just like pretty much anything else. This truck is one of the more detailed trucks that we have gotten. We do have some sleeper bunks back there, so you have two sleeper bunks if you want to go with that. As far as lighting goes, well, you got front headlights. Uh, you've got a secondary light, which isn't doing anything. A tertiary light, which is your brights. So you've got that. I imagine that second light setup is going to be for other things. As far as blinkers, you got your blinkers on there, left and right. Those all work just fine. No beacon lights, of course. If we pull up our help window here, you can see nothing. Can't open anything, can't close anything. The truck just is what it is. And what is it? <laughs> this thing is noise. Since we've got a semi truck and we are on our test map, I thought it would be interesting to pull out the West trailer and pull it or fill it with 105,000 liters of lime. Now, for a lot of the trucks in game, this really isn't too difficult. But I want to give this thing a try. I'm not going to be using any PC magic. We're not going to be doing anything crazy with our gears or with our engine or even with the wheels. As you know, I really, really like to use all wheel. And it looks like this first hill might be giving it. Oh, come on. You can do it, little Ivyco. I believe in you, dude. Come on. So it looks like yes. The answer is yes. We will be making it up this hill, but it's just going to take us a hot little minute here. But it's really cool. One thing you can see if you do decide to use it with this trailer for whatever reason, the rims are almost identical. They're just different colors. You cannot change the chassis color on this. It's one thing that I wish you could do, but hey, it's good. Oh, and there also is a trailer hitch on the front. Very nice. So looks like you possibly could be able to hook up a front lifter to that. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at, at that and see. A lot of people these days are using these trucks for different things. You're not using it for just hauling things around. You're, you know, we're you know, over two years into the lifespan of Farming Simulator 19 now. People are getting creative. And I love the fact that people are getting creative at using things in different ways. And A2 Studio has really done a good job of helping out with that as well, uh, as well as North Monty Company and uh, even C&H coming up. Uh, they, those guys are all doing some really cool stuff and giving their semi trucks something different. Maybe it's not just a truck. This is a multi-purpose vehicle and, um, and I think it's just fine. I also think that this hill right here is gonna give it to it. So let's find out. And just like that, we are at the top of the mountain and it has gone three miles per hour the entire way up without issue. What do you guys think about that? Now that, that is cool. Our last test today is going to be the three point test. I have purchased a couple front lifters here. We're gonna back up to the first one. Got it. We have three point. Doesn't look awful on there. Maybe go with a red one, but does it look awful? Oh, slow it down, baby, slow it down. This thing is extremely agile. Boop. Yep, yep, that is that is 100% a semi, semi truck with a front and rear three point hitch. If you're curious which mod we're using, we're using the front lifter mod, this bad boy right here. So the question would be, can we use it for stuff? Is, is it appropriate for this little setup right here? as some of you may want to do is use it for mowing or use it for tedding. This allows you a three point hitch as well as a PTO. Um, so it, it pushes it down to the ground fairly, I would say aggressively, but it's, it's down there. 
If we come out through here, let's see if we can find ourselves a little unfold. There we go. Turn that on. I think the rear is on. There we go. There we go. Rocking, mowing. Does it work? Absolutely. Can you hire a worker? You can. <laughs> That's great. All right. That's cool. This truck wins in my book. Well, guys, with all that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. And join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.